season two of the Pat and JT podcast. Oh my, now I'm here at last. The best time, always gonna be the best. To come out. Exclusively on the Herd App Media Network. Right. Oh man, this weekend, today, Monday, this weather is my sweet spot. <laughs> no, this is this is perfect. Uh, absolutely, love, absolutely like perfect. Some, Getting up yeah. in the morning and drinking coffee when it's chilly yeah. is is absolutely the greatest. I don't. I don't care what you people say. Oh, summer, hot, 90, and humidity. Never, Screw never, that. The never absolute said, best time of year is right now. Never said we didn't like this. You're the one that prays for freaking snow. Yeah. And this, that's where you lose me. This right here, greater than any other spring, day of the year. Spring and fall, without a doubt. The best. Without a doubt. Um, but I will never give up summer for winter. Ever. Mm, I don't know. Ever. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's so amazing. So, so amazing. Yeah, and actually, and the leaves are starting to change a little bit. Still some birds hanging out. My cat was sitting in the window. Mm-hmm. She likes, oh, God. You know, it's like they say, if you have if you have critters, I mean, going to the restroom by yourself, is you're going to go to the bathroom. You're never going to be in your bathroom alone, ever. And that's like having small children. I would equate right. it to. And anyway, the minute I go upstairs, she comes charging up. That's Benny. The cat. Running up the stairs and Gotta right watch mom bathroom. poop. Gotta watch mom poop. <laughs> Jumps right up into the window. <laughs> meows at me. So I open it up and then she lays down and then she sits there and watches. And she's waiting for birds, you know, mm-hmm. and there's just not a lot of birds left right now. There's a few out there, but it's not cold enough. They're all gone, but they're not as chirpy as they were. And then she'll do that. Yeah. Talking to them. <laughs> Trying to lure him in. I'm your friend. I'm your yeah. friend. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Uh huh. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We so, heard a weird beautiful. noise o- over the weekend in our uh, backyard again, and like it was, it was. I don't know. It was just weird. Anyway, so I'm down on my knees, looking out the window again. The next day, we went out, and in our landscaping, there was an enormous hole that was dug. Hmm. It didn't go all the way. Like it wasn't a tunnel. Nobody burrowed in anywhere. Oh, but it was probably it was bearing, or it was bur- maybe sleeping? chasing something. I don't Place know what it was. Sleep? I don't know what it was, but it was about the size of a basketball, mm-hmm. and it was about 18 inches deep, just straight down. Holy smoke. And it wasn't, it, I mean, obviously it wasn't there before. Well, and I'm going to say. It was just there, and, I'm ass- and it, it even dug, whatever, it dug right through the landscaping uh, felt. Right. I'm wondering if there was something that it had buried and it wanted back. Well, it could have asked. Didn't have to tear <laughs> it up all late. our stuff. Didn't wake you up. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it did, but there was no, there was no other, it wasn't there before. Like, there wasn't a whole, like... Turned well, maybe, up dirt. Maybe it'd been there for a while. Oh, God. You and your no, time capsules. Saying. Well, could Is it be. For Abe Lincoln came back to dig, dig up some bullets. Speaking some of time slugs. capsules, I watched that movie Knowing yesterday. Have you ever watched that? Mm. It's with Nicolas Cage. No. Uh, I, I, no. Nicolas Cage, he, he is like 100% hit or miss. He's hot or cold. It either sucks or it's great. And <laughs> this movie is one of those that's it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like the... Uh, Oh, the other ones where he's chasing the 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 Constitution um, or yeah. the whatever that one. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of long National Treasure. Um, it's it's kind of that character is kind it's not of as good. This, uh, it's it's good. It's it has to do with the time capsule. It was buried fifty years earlier, and uh, when the the school, the elementary school, you know, decides it's time to open it up, and his son is in that school, and each one of the kids that was in school at the time had written either drawn a picture or done something for you know, to put in the time capsule. So all the envelopes are dispersed to all the children. And the one his son got is just a a page full of numbers, just lines after lines after lines of numbers. And come to find out what they correlate to are the date of a natural disaster or a disaster, I guess, and the number of people that died. And then it has the um, location, you know, like, Quadrant. Yes, that whatever. stuff. Numbers. Um, numbers. Yeah. <laughs> and, the numbers. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, there was, yeah, there was the, uh, the time oh, capsule man. thing that just, yeah, I did happen to watch. And, and, I, and I, I watched it on purpose. And I like who it. would sit and think and put that much thought and you get a paper with a whole bunch yeah. of numbers. My kid brings that home like, yeah. dude, you're an idiot. Crunkle, crunkle, crunkle and you no, throw it away. Because, Why would you think there's got to be a pattern to this? Because he, because he was sitting there. Well, he was first off upset with his son because he brought it home because he was supposed to leave it at the school because it didn't belong to him. Yeah. It was all the kids got to open something and they had to turn him into their teacher, but he didn't brought it home. So he had it sitting on the table so his kid could take it to school the next day. He, ends up setting a drink down on it and it made a ring and so he went to wipe it up and he happens to see oh nine one one two zero one one or oh nine oh or oh nine eleven oh one okay and then two thousand was it two thousand nine hundred ninety six 
and then the location numbers. But he didn't know what they all were at the time. So he, he's just, he sees the 9-11. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I think, but maybe whatever, regardless, it was right in the middle of the page. And then he starts looking at some of the others and trying to divide them by dates and figuring out and, and then on, online and then realize, oh, that many people died on that date. That many people died here on that date, but still didn't know what the location and this, numbers all this, were. this document or whatever was supposedly mm-hmm. written before all these happened. Th- right. Okay. This was written 50 years ago by a little girl who could hear the whispering. A witch? The a little girl witch? No, her, her, no, but she could hear whispering in her head. And so everybody thought she was cuckoo because well, yeah. she was hearing voices. She didn't know. But anyway, it's a good movie. It's called okay. It's called Knowing. I probably will not watch it. <laughs> I'll take your word <laughs> for it. I don't even know how I got there because you mentioned Time Capsule, which is so I'm, random. I'm more, on the, I'm more on the tip of, I saw a, a movie this weekend on, it was just on Instagram, somebody talking about it. <laughs> um, going through the crazy Halloween scary movies. And there's a mm. movie called, you know, you got your uh, Sharknado and you have all, all those. That's uh, not how about, a, that is not a scary How about Velocipastor? Oh, God. So it's a reverend? <laughs> that, that, that does something and turns into a dinosaur. <laughs> turns into Velociraptor. <laughs> Velocipastor. No. Oh, it's hilarious. No. Although I will say that uh, some of the service, I can't remember if I was on Hulu or Slang or Peacock. God help me. I don't know which one I was on. Anyway, and they have a whole bunch of the Halloween movies. And then they've got the like it, the the freaky freaky trilogies and the non freaky trilogies and the scary this and then the originals and that they've got some of the black and white old school scary movies that are in there too. Um, but yeah, I love movies like that. I was going through them like okay, I'll find something in here that I haven't seen for a while, and that's how I found Knowing though because I was in like the sci fi crap. So anyway, <laughs> oh, God. it was good. It was good. I was watching that stuff like on Saturday, and I was also. Putzing around outside doing some things. Because it was so nice. I know. It was ridiculous. And I hate, oh. I love Night Husker games, but I hate Night Husker games. I hate waiting the entire day for the Husker I think game. it's the worst time. And you know, it's, okay, so it's the it's the money spot for the television people. They want they want that that high, that's the high dollar spot, yeah. right? I don't think it's, I don't think anybody else likes it. Because I don't think the team likes it. I don't think the coaches like it. I don't think the fans like it. I, I think it's like that 11 o'clock, and I don't care if that's supposed to be the suck zone. I, I loved 11 o'clock. <laughs> but, I mean, especially as a, a or even fan. Or even As a fan, because it's the 6 o'clock, 6.30, you, I mean, you can't, you get up and you're mm-hmm. raring to go for the game, mm-hmm. but you got to do other stuff. Because if you start tailgating at 11 o'clock, you're hammered <laughs> by 6.30. And, you, and then you, yes. you're tired and you go to sleep at halftime. Yeah, it's not it's not optimum. It's although, not. although you can't have that amazing third quarter you know, mm-hmm. back in black, whatever, ACDC, Thunderstruck, light show during the day. So it's like, it's, it catches, it's like you got to, if you want to have something cool like that, we got to wait till night, but God, it just sucks waiting all day. It does. It, it was, it was, and it looks like it, for some reason, thanks guys, they're getting, they're getting good. So now we got to have, we're going to have more of those. God, but it's so <laughs> nice having, even fighting for that 8.30 a.m. game. <laughs> Dang it. We found the silver lining. Yeah. It's a second. <laughs> 11 o'clock. That 11 o'clock off. game. We're done. <laughs> we're suited and booted by 2 p.m. We're ready to go. We can move on. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was a good day of football, though, just watching some of the other games, too. And, and this this was fun to... It was a fun one to watch, that's for sure. It's intense. It really... And, and I liked all the people that were posted. I, I, I reposted, I think, uh, a guy from Nebraska had posted about... Uh, he had somebody had bought that single seat ticket from Michigan, mm-hmm. so he had this Michigan fan sitting right next to him, and they got to be really good buds. So they were sitting there and just had a great time. And, and as he described him, you know, he has a high football IQ. He appreciated the talent. Uh, super great guy. Da 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 da. And he just posted a picture of him and the and the, the guy from Michigan. And then it got caught right, and everybody starts telling their story about sitting next to somebody from Michigan. But a lot of Michigan people also jumping in. A lot of Again, I know people hate hearing this, but a lot of great compliments to the fans. People talking about being in every stadium in the Big Ten and first time here in Nebraska and right. you know, this and that and, and couldn't believe it. And it's an amazing place. And uh, the fans are fantastic and taught us the thing about uh, keeping your, what's well, not your cool, but, but keeping your, what do I want to say? Just being high quality when you're losing. You know, and, and being able to still be, and he said said something about that. And also somebody wrote back and said, yeah, well, we've had some practice. Yeah. <laughs> We're kind of getting there. <laughs> but also helping like with the, on the Michigan side is that it'll learn something about, uh, you know, hanging in there with your team because they've been having such a good run this year. And they, this is the first time that they had been behind on the scoreboard all year long. And, you know, just like. Just pat them on the back and say, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's, 
if this You're is fine. nothing. You're yeah. fine. You have no idea. So I thought that was kind of cool because, yeah, everybody got along great in the, the stadium. I just love amazing. hearing those stories anyway. I do, too. I know. People get sick of like, blah, blah, greatest, but like, whatever. <laughs> After a while, there's only so many things you can hang your hat right? on. And right that's now, that's the only thing we can control. We can't control anything else. We can just be nice people. We can be good, right? Oh, we can be nice people, but we can also be total D-bags. Did you <laughs> see the video this past weekend of that road rage fight mm. out in West Omaha? It was on Scanner. It was on Channel 7 oh, had right. it. I think the, I heard about it on it two idiots Omaha that, Scanner. And I don't, I, it was on like 200, I want to say like 204th and 370, somewhere out somewhere out in that area of the yeah. city. But these two idiots were right right behind, in front, either right in front of each other, behind each other, or next to each other in yeah. the lane. And they both, driver's side was open, driver's side door was open, and they were just cuffing each other, just pounding each other. Like they Fist fight. stopped in the middle of the road? Just at their intersection. Intersection just stopped, and they got out, and they were just cuffing each other. They had to know each other. Oh, no. They, I, somebody I mean, cut somebody off. Maybe. Oh, yeah. They definitely didn't know each other, but somebody must have cut somebody off because they were just pounded on it. It went to, got to the ground. There's and a video of this? Mm-hmm, there's video from three different angles. I've seen one from right next right next to the car, Yeah. and then one from across the cross street. Friday night? Um, I think it posted Friday. Like it might have been. It might have been. It might have been. Thir- yeah, it was e- light. I mean, oh, it was okay. evening. So it might have been either Friday night or it was Thursday evening, just picking up steam on Friday. I don't know the time frame. Right. But it was the end of last week, and it was some dude oh in like a God. bright yellow shirt and his buddy or his buddy, his <laughs> fight buddy, <laughs> yeah, just just pounding each other. Oh my God. Yeah. I'll have to check that because I didn't see that. I saw there was a thread on Omaha Scanner, and I think in the, our buddy Gary. Sharp was part of he had, he was reporting <laughs> they were retweeting him because he was at the at one of the the Benson oh football yeah game, I saw that, yeah right and it kind of spilled over into the parking lot apparently there was some on field activity that then fans picked up the baton and decided to take over for him and people are such idiots <laughs> what the hell are you thinking you're such an idiot <laughs> you're too old for this shit God. stop it <laughs> and even if you're 17 you're too you're old too old stop it it's not gonna sell it's not gonna change anything just stop i, I it, get man right? being especially being fired up on the streets oh, when somebody cuts you off does something stupid whatever but you you gotta be having a bad day you really do. i mean it to change and trust me i've been there <laughs> where you're like mm, you just i've never you know taken it that next step obviously not but it seems like of late i've been able to kind of turn a page i don't know maybe i'm growing up a little um <laughs> But I literally, when somebody does something that's stupid or is rude, you just can't help but smile. You know, it's just like, I honestly, I'll say a prayer for you. Oh, I don't you know if I'm not there are, yet. Because I, cause I, can't, I can't pop them. <laughs> I know. I don't, I don't, you know? I don't, I don't want to fight him. I don't want to do any of that stuff. But I, I, I can't smile and say I'm going to say a prayer for him. I'm not there yet. I still get I'm, pissed and I honk. And inside I flip <laughs> them off. But I'm not, I'm not at the point where it's a bless your heart. I'm going to say a prayer I'm for you. Like, I'm not there yet. I'm just like, you are not worth it. <laughs> that's To me, that would be the, that's just a bigger apathy is way worse uh, than, than then actual I need, hatred. Then I need medicine. Right. Because I can't do that yet. like not caring. <laughs> but if they know, but if, but that's the thing though, if they know that you don't care, mm-hmm. they don't, if they don't know you don't they care, aren't then getting they aren't a reaction from you. That's gotta suck. I don't know. They want it. They, I don't know. No, what, it, what, people, what, do, what do you expect okay, when I don't you care. drive by somebody and you, and I've done it. You drive by somebody and you either give them the, the stink eye or the it's, wave. <laughs> it's not even, I'm not even so mad. Expect? I'm not so what mad at I people that, that are doing dumb things. Like yeah. if somebody does something stupid or like if they're in a hurry and they cut me off, whatever, I assume I'm thinking, okay, something's going on. They got to get somewhere else. Somebody's that, having assume, a baby in the backseat. Something <laughs> like, like even if they're just being an idiot, I figure yeah. whatever. But what, 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 triggers me is idiots that are that drive slow and that's where that's where they don't care they don't even look if i'm getting a, they don't care if i react or not react so i want to react because if, if i drive by they're going 25 and a 45 yeah and i drive by <laughs> i feel like actually it's more like <laughs> whatever at least i'm <laughs> going past them you leave with a breeze right right so yeah. i just want i don't know honking I, i'm all for I, all i've honked honk. a lot lately i'm all about the honk um people not paying attention yeah. just is it's like this is this is getting to the point where this is like it, it is a problem yeah people are not lifting their head up light turns green nobody goes or, go. or three cars go and you're the car two cars ahead of you doesn't go 
Oh, and then all of a sudden they go. It's right. like Or in a turning lane, four four cars get through. I know. Yes. That's that's yeah. honk worthy. Yeah, that is honk I'm worthy. I'm just gonna say. Yeah. So anyway. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well so that was a fun that. one. <laughs> um other than that, I'm just yeah. The Huskers, I, I think they did a great job and, and there's a lot of good things to say about them. And so I'm looking forward to more well, we got six more games, five six more games. Six more games, one more game, uh, and then a bye week and then a and I think we're actually, and I think we're actually trying to get uh, going to get tickets to go take the kids to the Purdue game um, on mm-hmm. the what the thirtieth I think uh-huh. of October. But I'm told that if it is anything later than a two o'clock game, it's no go because they have Halloween plans. So <laughs> hopefully it's an eleven o'clock or two o'clock start for Purdue. <laughs> I don't know Otherwise, Nebraska. Oh. It's all they want to do is go to a Husker game. Husker game. Going to get tickets to Husker game now. Now there's stipulations. Oh my god! Can we leave at halftime? This now they're good. They're they're doing really well. They're seven thirty games. Yeah, they don't care about that. Oh my God. All right. Well, anywho, that so was a fun one. There's that. All right. So tweet to us. <laughs> it's Pat and JT. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, or text us at 402 403. Thanks for listening. Make sure you rate our podcast, review it, and share it with your friends. We appreciate it. Pat and JT Podcast, a Huda Media Production.